Roberta Montagnini again and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you uh, some of the tools I have been working uh, for my action from my actions uh, panel and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to retouch uh, skin using some of these uh, techniques that I created myself so uh, to begin with um, as you can see on this image, the girl, she has a lot of uh, acne uh, scars. So to begin, I would suggest if you have an image like this, to first do a, you know, at least a slightly clean up. So uh, I'll run my retouching setup here, which creates like a panel uh, for me. And on the healing layer, I'm just gonna select here the spot healing brush. And I'm just gonna go, um, you know, where the skin, sorry, I'm going to select this one, uh, where it's mostly prominent, you know, where I can see uh, things like this, you know, the ones that are, that really draws my attention. Um, actually, before I even go on, I like using the black and white here, if you use, you know, the adjustment panel. If you select the black and white, and then you go here on the reds, and you increase the reds, and then actually no, you increase the yellow and decrease the the red like this and then increase the yellow to the maximum so now uh, everything that is dark it is the the discoloration the unevenness on her skin so now here on the healing brush now you're at it i am going to uh, be selecting you know healing her skin make sure uh, when you do this the sample is set to current and below which means it's gonna uh, copy anything that is on this layer and below that layer nothing that is above so the black and white's not gonna be transferred so now I'm gonna be doing this and I really just want to do something very, very quickly um, doesn't need to be uh, perfect um, this is only gonna help the treatment of the skin because um, otherwise it's extra work so this is just gonna make the skin more um, even and therefore easier when we use the other tool which is gonna be smoothing the skin smoothing yeah <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna go all around here her skin And all the areas that are too dark and too prominent, I'm gonna try to make it less dark and less prominent. Let's see if I can keep the editing of this image under 10 minutes. And that would be great. It improves your workflow. And overall, I think this new editing technique that I developed is pretty good and I've been using it quite a lot in my work so you can see here it's like before and after let's work here on her face a bit more Now I'm going to get this brush here um, and before I do that I'm just going to unclick my black and white otherwise it's going to copy and I'm just going to try to remove this hair and see here oh something happened sample all layers I forgot to take that so here I'm just going to remove the hair if you can see there's some hair going on here Now we can see this is all the areas I've been working on on her face, and here's the before and after. If I just do like a um, command I to invert, you can see better the areas where I've been working on her image on the on the image. So I think this is pretty good to start. Just let me make sure it actually is right. 
Let me, there's some hair here. Okay, that, I think that's good. So it's just a slight cleanup. And once the image is like this, we can um, go ahead here. I'm gonna select the last visible layer and I'm gonna run my skin smoothing for a close up here. So after I run that, I should be given um, you know, a panel like this. And I'm gonna be using this black uh, mask here with my white brush. Make sure you select the white color here. And then you get your uh, soft round brush. And I'm gonna set my flow to 20%. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little close. And I'm just gonna brush away like this. You can see on the arm is already doing wonders here. Like it really cleared the skin. Um, it really made it, you know, a really good improvement here. Let me do the whole arm. It really is a little um, effortless way to edit images uh, without compromising too much the skin. And, you know, if you're only starting out with Photoshop, this is pretty good. So now here on her face, I'm going to make sure actually we're going to reduce the flow to 10% so it's not I can con so I can control better otherwise uh, I don't want to lose too much of the texture so I'm just doing like this on here on her nose too not gonna worry too much about other things on the image just mainly on the skin that's the purpose of uh, you know showing how the tool works and you can see here before and after of the skin which I love it I think it's pretty good now uh, what I will do I'm gonna run a quick frequency separation uh, over this so I just run the freaking separation here I click and it should create the pa the panel here for me and now on the layer where it says brush here I'm gonna select my brush I'm gonna select my flow and opacity to 20% and I'm just gonna very quickly try to smooth out here the you know the skin as if I'm applying like a light foundation to her skin just to make sure uh, the tones are more even there's not a lot of this color you know different colorations and like that let me zoom out a bit now here on her body as well Okay, I think I'm happy with how it looks. You can see here the before and after frequency separation. Oh, there's a little bit here on her side of the face. I think that's okay. All right, so I am happy with how it looks. Now, after I created my frequency separation uh, layer, I am going to select my, uh, sorry, the texture here, skin object texture. I'm just gonna run that and it should give me some texture I'm gonna zoom in close so you can see like the texture I'm gonna invert this layer with command I and I'm just gonna brush in the areas where I think it needs I'm gonna select the flow to 10% uh, make sure you have a white brush because you're painting the masked layer here's just to review the what's under the black layer so so I'm just bringing some texture back Now here on her body too. I'm 
and you can see here a quick before and after. There's a little texture there, which is great. Now I uh, will run uh, dodge and burn just because I want to give the image some more dimension. Now I'm going to use the burn and I'm going to select uh, opacity 100 and flow. I'm going to start at 2% and I'm just going to let me zoom out so I can see the image better. And I'm just gonna sort of shape the, give the image, uh, the image shadows where I think it needs. And there we go, like that. Okay, now on the dodge layer, I'm gonna try to lighten up some areas where I think it needs to be a little bit more light. Now, as a, a last thing, you can create here the black and white layer and you go to luminosity and you can try playing with the skin tone a bit so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker here on the red and on the yellow then I'm gonna create a hue and saturation and on the red layer I'm just gonna drag the saturation a little bit down and the yellow too just a tiny bit like that and to finalize I'm gonna use a grain I'm gonna set the opacity here to maybe 52%. Let me see, get closer. I think that's, yeah, 36%. And I will run also my uh, color grading, which is my signature style. And I'm just gonna run over and the image is done. So this is the finished image. And here is the before image. So before and after in a few simple steps without sacrificing quality and time because time nowadays is money so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you enjoyed how i edited the image i think this tool um, this tool is very very useful would be great for whoever you know if you are starting or if you're already advanced and you just want to improve your workflow i think this is really really great so if you'd like to uh, to have the tool let me know in the comments below please do share this with people that edit images or you know with friends just to show uh, how uh, images are edited uh, this is by no means a, a one way to edit your image you can use frequency separation you can use these tools you can use dodge and burn and you can combine them all whatever makes your 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 workflow you know flow <laughs> do it all right guys uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give it a thumbs up all right see you later bye bye